Today we're taking a journey through Maine's most fascinating ghost towns. These places tell the stories of Maine's past from bustling logging towns to quiet settlements that were eventually left behind. Let's explore these hidden gems that are perfect for history buffs and adventure seekers. Our first stop is Freeman Township. Once a thriving farming and logging community, now nature has reclaimed much of it. You can still find the remnants of the town's original buildings hidden among the trees and offering a peaceful yet nostalgic view into Maine's early agricultural days. Richville was once a logging town alive with activity during the timber boom. Though it's mostly empty now, the surrounding natural beauty makes this spot a great destination for those who love hiking and outdoor photography. Madrid is a small town that thrived during the mining era. It's now a quiet place with abandoned homes and buildings that show how resilient the early settlers were. A perfect spot for a tranquil day trip surrounded by Maine's stunning natural landscape. This one's a bit different. Flagstaff was flooded to create a reservoir. Beneath Flagstaff Lake lie the remnants of once bustling town. You can even take a kayak or boat to get close to where those old buildings are now submerged. Swan Island or Perkins Township is an incredible spot for history lovers. It's preserved as a part of Maine wildlife system with walking tours that guide you through the few remaining homes and public buildings. It's the perfect mix of history and nature. Once a booming sardine canning town, Lubick's North End offers a scenic quiet spots for the coastal exploration. The old factory buildings still stand, creating a unique backdrop against the beautiful Maine coast. The 19th century seminary was once a prestigious school. Today, it offers a peaceful walk through Maine's educational history with its stately buildings standing tall against the changing seasons. Greenfield is a ghost town now, but its old railroad tracks and mill foundations are still visible. It's peaceful destination for anyone interesting in Maine's early industries and quiet trails and a lot of wildlife to see. Forks might be known for the whitewater rafting today, but it has a rich history as a logging town. You can explore some of these older parts of the town, including mills and other historic structures, while enjoying outdoor adventures. Lastly, we have Wooded Pitlock, a town that slowly disappeared over the years. Today, it's a great place for those who love to explore Maine's rural landscapes with charming remnants of the past all around. I hope you enjoyed this trip through Maine's Forgotten Towns. These places aren't just eerie, they're windows into the history that shaped our beautiful state. If you're ever in Maine, can consider visiting one of these spots and seeing the stories that they tell firsthand. I'm Tina Connell, and I hope you have a very spooky week. Thank you.